Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to week one. This is a or week two. Sorry. Uh, this is a supplemental uh, video. Um, I recorded the my word basics tutorials a few years ago. And in light of making this course um, cover um, all of the content on the word certification exam, I'm making this uh, supplemental video to just round out uh, that ori original video I made. Um, so uh, one of the things you can do is, um, you know, at this point in the course, you already know how to start a Word document. Uh, that's pretty clear. Um, what you may not know is you can import what are called non-native files um, into, into your document. So uh, what is a non-native file? A non-native file is um, uh, a file that was uh, not necessarily designed to be opened in in Word. Uh, so you know something that wouldn't have a, a doc X or a doc X extension. Um, something that's not part of Microsoft Office. So um, an ODT file that's open office, um, a PDF file, um, things like that. Those are all non-native files. Um, and um, you can't necessarily, you know, import every single type of non-native file ever in, um, but it's definitely possible to do that with certain types of non-native files. Um, all of my open office documents are uh, terrible poetry I wrote many years ago, so I won't be demonstrating how to open those. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do this with a PDF um, uh, because uh, my students have often asked, you know, once you've saved something as a PDF. Can you open it and you know edit it again? Um, and so there are ways to go and uh, you know import a PDF. Um, so basic way to do it: we're in Word. Um, we have our document. Um, so we went to Word. So now we're going to go into File, Open. Um, let's see. And I'm just going to go browse my OneDrive. You could go into your computer hard drive as well. Um, and we're just going to import my my CV, so um, my curriculum vita. Uh, we've just got this um, PDF right here, and I'm just going to open it. And now it's actually it's so we get this um, we get this uh, alert that it might take a while, and so it says Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text, so it might not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contained lots of graphics. So that's something to keep in mind is when you are importing non-native files, um, there may be things, uh, there may be issues with formatting. Um, this uh, was very common uh, when I was switching between OpenOffice and Word, um, and it'll happen with PDF. It's just, it's just a thing that you have to sort of work around and deal with. So we're doing this. And actually this has kept my formatting uh, pretty well. Uh, some of my alignment's a little off. Um, but is but it's, you know, all the data's there. Yeah. So basically my alignment and my margins are off. Um, those weren't preserved all that well. Uh, <laughs> um, but those are things I can go in and fix. And now I have a, I took that PDF and it has been transferred into an editable document, something that I can fix, that I can save, that I can reshare. Um, it used to be a lot more complicated to do this, um, but it can be done. Um, so practice that on your own. I think you'll find it fairly simple. Please let me know if you have questions.